All right, Frosty Lifers, we're going to the lake. Lake. And this is the first time, it's the first time Mason is going with his brother Coho because they need to be together. And I think Mason is probably naughty when we're away from the house and he gets all nervous because we're gone a lot. And I want him to feel more included. So we're going to start trying to take him to the lake so that these two brothers can travel together. Uh, Coda doesn't care. I think he would like the break. He just sleeps anyways. So we're going to try two cats on the way to the lake. Sadie, you ready to go bye-bye? Oh. Yeah, I'm shaking. We just hit a full-size deer at doing 65. There was no time to even get my foot to the brake and we hit him. Oh, Karen must have seen something not, not good. Something flew off my truck too. Well, oh, that's not good. Hard to see anything over here. Uh, the hood is smashed. The fender is smashed. My tire is okay. The, even the bumper is bent. Mm -hmm. We hit that thing full speed. I mean, I couldn't even slow down. The amazing thing is that the deer jumped out in front of us just like what happened to an Isanti County squad car here in Minnesota a few months ago. That squad car was responding to a call and hit a deer just the same way we did, where it jumped out of absolutely nowhere, right smack in front of us. And when we hit it, just it flew off into the woods. The important thing is not to swerve because you could roll your vehicle. And the squad car didn't swerve either. It hit it straight on. And so this footage that I'm going to show you from that squad car hitting the deer looks just like what it looked like for us. Karen says, there's a deer, and then we impact it immediately. Luckily, I know how to... Just take your door off. No, it's all right. They see us. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's hair, fur in my bumper. Yeah, I'm going to be buying some new headlights, which is funny because I replaced these lights last summer. And when I did, I, uh, 
I made a YouTube on how to replace the light, so I know how to replace my own headlight. And the, the hood isn't too bad. He didn't break the grill. Well, part of it, yeah, he did. It's all crooked over here, though, so. I think I have more damage than I can see in the dark. But the engine's running all right, I think. Yep, that's an understatement. Deer jumping out in front of you. <laughs> Very true. Well, there's my fog light. The other one's broken out already, but and I can't claim insurance on this because I don't have full coverage. It's my own on under my own account. Well, well there it is. There's my smashed up truck. Yeah, it took a pretty good hit, and there's fur in the bumper. That fender didn't wreck my tire. It's a new tire, so I'm happy for that. Ew, fur, yucky. Well, I can't get the hood open, and the grill fell off when I was trying to open the hood. The hood is stuck shut, and then it wouldn't start, and then it was blowing smoke. So I think I really wrecked my truck. Well, I'm rather proud of myself. I uh, pulled out a box of zip strips that we've had in the garage. Karen labeled it so I could find it right away. She's very organized, and I love that. And I'm zip stripping this broken headlight back to the assembly so at least I can drive at night. I'm going to zip strip this side. The entire mounting assembly back in here is just gone. It's just fried. There's still some deer hair here, some fur, yuck. To make things worse, this morning, Callie, my oldest daughter, also hit a deer in a different place up north on her way to work. So we're feeling the pain. Here we've not hit deer for, for me all my life, except for one time about 20 years ago. And uh, now in a matter of three days, we hit two deer in our family. Callie hit a deer last fall. Her boyfriend also hit a deer. So all of a sudden, the deer are wreaking havoc on our cars. And the way that my insurance works, I only have liability, so I cover it myself. And you know what? I've paid in insurance for years and years and never used it, so uh, it's just like my windshield. When I damage something, I just pay cash and fix it. Because uh, paying insurance really uses up all my money to pay for other people's damage. And this time, my number came out, but that's alright. I'm going to zip strip all of these light parts into position and uh, put new bulbs in them. And I'll be back in service. And uh, rather than paying $2,000 on an old truck, I'm just going to live with it. And make it work. Make it safe. Make it street legal. But... Uh, I'm going to adjust, and uh, then I can use my money on other fun things like cameras or bills. <laughs> Electric bills and groceries are always good to get. Well, the deer are winning this week, but we're going to overcome. We're going to make the best of it. You know, it could be worse. It could be, a, I mean, it's like January. I'm outside. I'm enjoying the weather. This is gorgeous. I'm wearing just the sweatshirt. And... Uh, I could actually probably be in a short sleeve shirt. It's like 20, 25 degrees out, something like that. And uh, that's Fahrenheit, by the way. Not Celsius, that'd be kind of nice if it was. So it's rather ugly, but it's very functional. I'm also proud of myself. The hood was jammed shut from the damage and I couldn't get the hood open. So this morning I uh, got my old floor jack out and uh, jacked some pressure against this mechanism and bent it back into shape so that I could then oh and also the the release wire got split or broken by the deer and so I had to get a tool in there and actually force it open so now I got the hood open and it shuts just fine it opens and shuts now with, with the tool I just get in there and push a little lever so I'm gonna adjust now what's funny is I just bought these replacements last fall and I, I haven't even edited that video on how to put those install those so I'll probably have to use that video to remind myself how to install new lights this side is fine 
This light assembly was not hit, neither was this new one, and uh, the mount is fine too. So if I can find where to buy this mount and how to put it on, I'm going to figure it out myself, and I could save a couple thousand dollars. My bumper is a little bent on the other side. It's fine on this side, so I'm not going to replace it. This is a, a very old truck, 17 years old, so why would I put $2,000 into it when it's just cosmetic? The truck needs to be functional. It needs to be safe. But for now, I'm going to zip strip these lights in place. Maybe buy a new grill if I can figure out how to mount the grill. Although the all the mounting stuff that's like on that side is completely gone on this side. There's nothing to mount anything to. So maybe I'll try and figure out if I can buy a new, uh, whatever you call it, mounting bracket and fix it myself. But for now, I'm just going to zip tie these in place and I'll have headlights and turn lights, turn signals, and I can drive my car in the winter. At night. <laughs> you know, it's all relative. It's all relative. I'm still having fun. I got the daytime off. It's sunny out. It's gorgeous, beautiful out here. I could be out ice fishing or I could be out fixing my truck. A little TLC will have this thing back in service in no time. The bummer is a Callie's car is hardly drivable. It's it's she's really got a lot of damage, and uh, you know I don't believe in paying the insurance to have it cover that. Cause how often does this kind of thing happen to me? Almost never. I would have paid in 20 years of it, 25 years of insurance for one deer head. I'd rather just pay the cash myself, fix it myself too. There it is. Got all the lights working. Headlights working. The turn signal is working, the parking light is working, just like on this side. So, got it working for nighttime, and uh, the next thing I gotta do is find out how to buy a mounting bracket and get a new grill on there. It'll look like new.